Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights, where last we left off, Sarkin bought a silly hat, and we raided Wanab's <laughs> cottage. Of death. Quite literally, of death. That place is full of doom. Full of doom. <laughs> Prepare to become one hmm. with eternity. I order him to attack near us, because there's nothing to attack. However... We do have stairs up that lead to an up place. We shall go to this up place. Yes. But before we go is to the up place, there's she's not going to continue the story, is she? Not right now. Fair enough. Just thought I'd check. It's the kitchen, and it's full of methods. And a chest. And a bra and a brazier that we can uh, look up. <laughs> Probably got something good in it. This is a terrible kitchen. This is a really terrible kitchen. What's in here? Where does see much use? Though certainly not for cooking. The unmistakable smell of ozone and something disgusting hangs in it. Though for what directions it is difficult to determine what it is for. Ah! A cookbook! <laughs> Stew. Slart's tongue, ground with fire beetle belly, make the base. Place and base out. Two parts skeleton oils and stir. Notes to self. Smells disgusting. Drink heavily before mixing. Oh. Mmm. Okay. There was a fire beetle belly earlier in this place. I don't quite know what we need this for, though. Uh. Demon Ale. Nope, I'm not sure why I need Demon Ale, except that apparently I need Demon Ale. Ooh, they had potions. Did not notice this on my way back. It's handy that they give you just enough ingredients. I've had a little over with the amount of skeleton knuckles that they have just lying around. Is he in here? No, it's in here, isn't it? There's a fire beetle belly. No, where was the fire beetle belly? Ah, oh, the fire beetle belly was in the pile of skulls, wasn't it? You'd think skeleton knuckles would be in a pile of skulls. But no, fire beetle belly is in a pile of skulls. Fair enough. We're going to go make this demon ale. To what end, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but, we figured out some form of puzzle in here. Let's move on. Do, 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 do. Also, this uh, helmet does illuminate. It's more of an aesthetic thing that than anything. But it does illuminate. So we need to put Slant's Tongue and Fire Beetle Belly and then two Knuckle Bones. Hopefully this will make something amazing or something awful. Okay. That... Slard's tongue. Two knuckle bones? Hey! It's made a thing. I bet this is a portal that leads straight to his tower. Let's find out! It's led somewhere into here. Which is, uh, a room with a chest in it. Ooh, a ward stone. That's what we wanted. Now we can enter into his, uh, into his tower. This appears to be plan plans for tower construction written by one one ever mage. The section catches your eye. At last, my tower defenses are complete. The gate requires by ward stone and the caves are heavily guarded. Note to self, the bugbears are idiots. They simply must learn not to all rush to the alarm gong every time it sounded. While they're all milling around the gong, someone could slip into the empty barracks and right into the portal. I best take this journal back to the tower or forget to tell the fools. I think that's another death portal? A death chest? I will have a look, just in case, but it has all the hallmarks of a chest of death. Chest of death? <laughs> chest of double death! There was so much death there, it couldn't be contained just by Sarkhan. Excellent. We do, however, have what we want, which is the, uh... Does this take me back? It does! 
It does it an unlimited number of times, too. So we have the Wardstone, which means now we can enter into the tower, which pretty much means we don't have much else we need to do here. We could use one of the knuckle bones to gain access to the shop that the one wants reagents for. I mean, really, a skeleton knuckle bone? It's not really much of a reagent. But I suppose if that's what she wants so that we can see her merchandise, then that's what she wants. Bet they've got a better helmet. I bet I've spent five grand on a helmet I don't need. I'm gonna keep thinking about that helmet, because I keep looking at it. But then again, the other helmet was also silly. Let's go! It's nice and day. We must have spent a long time down there. There is a peasant. Hello, peasant. I'm just walking up here. Do we have one of the reagents? Welcome to the shop, as I like. I do have one. You can offer a, a skeleton's knuckle. Excellent. What do you have? Golden circlet? That's pretty good. But not wonderful. You have a Nimsco plus two. A cloak of fortification plus two. Better than the cloak of fortification plus one, but blooming expensive. What about weapons? You we don't have much in the way of weapons. You have various rods and rings and things of clear thought. So basically, the only thing I might want from you is that cloak of fortification plus two. The rest of it's all a bit rubbish. So I feel vindicated in purchasing the helmet. Only a little. Let's move up into the northern part because we want to go and examine... Uh, we want to go and examine the, the threat of the orcs first. We were told by many people to go there and check that out, so we're going to go there and check that out. Worst case scenario is it's full of death. It's probably going to be full of death anyway. But hey, let's find that out for ourselves. North we go! The North Road. Oh, this place is nice. It's massive. Hello, Gerald. A worried frown covers his commoner's face as he goes about his business. Hello there. You best be careful treading the road around these parts. A dangerous place these days. Listen, old Gerald. Your Gerald? Your son mentioned you. He did, didn't he? He's a fine lad, he is. I expect then that you're some manner of adventurer that he thought could help us, I. Eh? He seemed to think so, yes. It's a dangerous thing to ask of anyone, but it might be worth your while, lad. Let me fill you in just in case the boy didn't. The hills in this area are home to creatures of all sorts. Bugbears, goblins and the like. Normally they don't trouble us much. Since Luskin stopped patrolling the area, mind you, they've become pretty brave. For weeks now they've been attacking anyone passing through these parts. Attacked the farm a few times, too. That's when they made off with my wife. I figure it's all... It's all that, uh, Dergabe's doing. Damn ogre will get what's coming to him one way or another, I swear it. Who is this Dergabe? Dergabe is an ogre mage. Oh, no, not ogre mages. We're reaching that level, aren't we? Rather cunning sword who's decided he's just the critter to lead all these other monsters. Now he's got into his head... What he's got into his head, I haven't a clue. But from what I can tell, he's gone and built himself an army. What he intends to do with it just scares me a little. I went and sent off a warning to my old friend Aaron Gend, but I haven't heard back from him yet. I suppose he's got more important things on his plate right now, all things considered. Who's Aaron? You know Aaron Gend? Aye, I do. An old friend, I said. You don't think I've spent my whole life as a farmer, do you? Ha! <laughs> we all have to settle down someday, lad. If I were in my younger days, I'd go to those caves and find leave for myself. I wish I could. As it stands, I'll have to wait for some younger adventurer to take up the task for me. Perhaps I could help. Maybe you could. That. I can reward you if that's what you're keen for. I'll warn you, though. You wouldn't be the first adventurer to head up to the hills. There have been other adventurers? Aye, a few have passed this way and headed into the hills to check out the creatures. None have returned, I'm afraid to say. What kind of reward are we talking about? To be honest, I haven't much left from my adventuring days. I'll be happy to offer what gold I have, though. To have some proof of what happened to my wife. Or, better yet, have her returned. I'd also offer gold for, uh, Dergib's head. To know for sure that he won't be pestering anyone else in these parts. I know it's not much. Chances are Dergib will have plenty of loot himself. 
I'll look into it as soon as I can. I'll be grateful for it. Find my wife or bring me proof of what's happened to her. And bring me Derek Gibbs' head if you can. Either would be a great service. I'm not going to enter your house just yet. I will do that on the way back. There is probably going to be plenty to loot along the route. Like various amounts of horrible monsters and bugbears and kobolds and butterflies. Curse you butterflies! There's some water. That's hopefully not going to be aggressive to me. Not right away. Anyway. Here's a shrub! We shall examine this shrub. It has fen berries. No idea what fen berries do, but I will take them. Here is a wrecked... Ooh, a wrecked tower with a chest in it. A locked chest. A locked chest that she has no interest in actually opening conventionally. Frost. No, are we are we gonna pit it? Ha! Weapons ineffective. Uh, you might as well follow. We're not gonna be able to. Oh, oh, crumpet can open it. Crumpet can open it. What if I were to buff him? No, 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 not lesser restoration. Not lesser restoration. Full strength. There you go. What if I were to turn into a bear? Will that do the trick? We'll find out. I am a bear. I'm gonna bash this chest out. will not. So very slowly, Crumpet is able to actually deal harm to it. Very, very slowly. I'm curious. I have to say I'm curious. We'll, we'll see how long it takes. It may take an awfully long time to find out what's in here. Oh, hey, it's open! And inside was... Loot! Not bad loot, either. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. We can travel over this one. It's not that it's going to make much difference there, but... There does this appear to actually be very much in this area. Not very much in this area at all. Any... Monsters? Things to fight? There is a sign. What's this sign say? To the Neverwinter Woods, perhaps? Yes. Well, we're not going to the Neverwinter Woods. We're dealing with this thing first, with orcs and ogres and ogre mages. Ogre mages are a problem. They always have been. Oh, look, it's a sign saying, Here be a cave full of bugbears. Ah! Funny that. There's a mine here. Fair enough. Are you going to open it? Conventionally? No, you're just going to smash it open. Well, we got a ring out of it. That's always something. I do, however, think this is probably where the bugbears are coming from. Let's have a look. Yep, this seems pretty much like a place where all the monsters are coming from. Thanks for opening the door, but I uh, don't think we need the door opening just yet. Let's find out if there are loads of monsters in here. There's a big door. That says to me lots of monsters. Sorry. Oh. We just can't go in. Well, this is actually not the route. We cannot actually enter this way because we don't have the key. Well. That was a little bit anticlimactic. What about up here? Is there anything up here? Is the Ogre Mage hiding out nearby? Nope, would seem not. Is there anyone hiding out up here? Anyone? There's a boar! <laughs> Prepare it's dead. To There's a Windsor Wolf! With eternity. That's cool. You gonna drop a pelt? I hope so. Then we can travel all the way over to Nashville and get money for it. 
I didn't drop a belt. That is a shame. Poor boar. Didn't stand a chance. Well, there was nothing of particular note up here. There's the cave that we can't really do anything with. Mainly because we don't have the key. I mean, we could just bash the door down, but I think it's one of those plot doors which is immune to bashing. Okay. So we'll just head up here or across. Probably up, to be honest. Because we need to find these caves. Nice and peaceful, though. Just walking around. Not having anything to worry about except adventuring in a silly hat. Is a very the other hat looks better. The other hat is also far, far more expensive. Let's head this way first. There might be something over here. There is absolutely nothing. Oh no no no. There is something. There's something down there. There's a cow. Yes. There's also combat. Oh, it's a boar. Ah, that area up there seems like where we want to be. Is a dire boar. They often found in the company of rangers or druids. Well, this one's found in the company of another boar. It doesn't seem to want to fight us. Which kind of makes us killing it a little mean. But it's dead now. It didn't even carry any loot. Let's go examine this area first. This farmer with a single solitary cow. He'll be sorry for this event for this farmer. We can go kill his one cow. That might be a little bit mean. Oh, unless that's his farm. Well, it's probably his farm, isn't it? Yes, it probably is his farm. Look, he also has a dog. He also has various boxes. <coughs> Chasing the chickens is that dog. We shall, however, loot things. Like that. Fair enough. Ah, are you going to unlock it, or are you going to try and bash it in? Oh, no, you're actually going to try and unlock it. Excellent. 28 bolts of lightning. So, basically, we want to head this way if we want to go and deal with the uh, army of bugbears and orcs. Let us go and do that. Literally a stone throw away from your farm. You should be a little more worried about it. I would be. There is a cave. There is a goblin elite. There are a few goblins around. Goblin elites are still rubbish. I mean, they're slightly better armoured, but I'm pretty capable of dealing with them. And I see that uh, Crumpet is dealing with that one over there. So we have an entrance here for cave and cave, and we are getting shot at by a goblin archer. You do that, we're just going to see if there's any loot. Ooh, there's garbage over here. Garbage? A gem in the garbage. A literal diamond in the rough. Well, that one's dead. And you're also unfortunately about to die. And you made the mistake of walking into range of the dog. I keep saying dog when I mean to say bear, purely because Crumpet was originally a dog in the um, tabletop roleplay. D&D, Wild Cohort Feet. That therefore made him the uh, companion of my fighter. Who died and then became the companion of my next character. But when we come back, folks, we shall head into these caves. These caves of mystery. These caves that will probably contain an inordinate amount of bugbears. And goblins. And an ogre mage. I hope we don't need to deal with it, but I know we're going to have to kill it. So I'll catch you next time, and I'll see you then. Later.